What's up? It's your boy Heaven Hollywood. We're back on IE Network. This is Heaven Hollywood Report. And let's get to it. A lot of things to discuss, man. A lot of different topics, too. Interesting, interesting things. So today, we'll start it off with your boy Gunner. Today is hopefully the day that your boy Gunner will go free. Now, Gunner's lawyer, again for the third time, is hoping that um, Gunner will be set free. Franz Kafka, he said, uh, would be shocked by the rapper's treatment, his attorney said. Now, let me get into this article. Lawyer for Gunner, I'm once again asking for Georgia judge to release the star rapper, saying he's been languishing in jail nearly five months and that prosecutors have not shown a shed of evidence that he's going to threaten the witness, that he's going to threaten witnesses. Following his arrest in May as a part of a sweeping indictment of alleged Atlanta gang members, Gunner's real name, Sergio Kitchens, has twice been refused pre-trial release on bond, both times because Fulton County prosecutors claim that it might lead to witness intimidation. Now, they're saying also that Gunner's being held without any evidence. They're saying the prosecution has no evidence, a shred of evidence against Gunner that he even committed any crimes. So it says here, um, if the motion is denied, Gunner will remain in jail until his trial, which is currently scheduled for January. Um, the case is built around Georgia's Racketeer Influence and Corrupt Organization Act, which is the RICO, a state law based on the more famous federal RICO stature that's been used to target the mafia, drug cartels, and other forms of organized crime. So, uh, Young Thug, of course, has also been repeatedly denied bond. He's currently awaiting trial in jail as well. I believe Gunn is getting out today. That's what I believe. I, I have this strong feeling that Gunner will get out today. So, we'll check back later on and... See what happens with that. Moving on to the Queen B, Beyonce. Now, Cuff It and Church Girl looks as though to be the next single that will be sent to radio. Now, Cuff It uh, has picked up a lot due to you know the viral you know dance on TikTok. You know this is the dance you've been seeing everybody doing lately. So. Uh, that, of course, has made Cuff It increase. You know, the sales on, on uh, iTunes stuff has increased. So, the next two singles is going to be Church Girl and Cuff It off of Renaissance. Of course, this is the first part of the trilogy. And I believe we should get that second part before this year is up. Um, so, Church Girl and Cuff It. Which one do y'all want to be released next? What, if you had Church Girl or Cuff It, which one is your favorite? Do you prefer Church Girl or do you prefer Cuff It? Let me know down in the comments. Moving on to Shakira, Shakira. So some good news and some bad news. So Shakira celebrated one billion streams on Spotify uh, for Hipstone Lie. One billion streams on Spotify. That's the good news. So she received this plat here on Spotify. The bad news is, is that everything got denied and Shakira is facing up to eight years in jail after being ordered to stand trial over alleged $12 million tax fraud. Shakira tried to work out a sum and tried to even work out a way for her to pay it. But it looks as though they don't want to work, they're not going to want to work anything out. I'm going to look at this uh, article from Castanet. Shakira is facing up to eight years in jail after being ordered to stand trial over allegations of a $12 million tax fraud. Judicial, uh, judicial authorities announced on Tuesday the Hipstone Live singer could face the prison sentence after she rejected a plea deal in July of accusations of tax invasion. So a judge at an investigating court uh, near Barcelona formally ordered the singer to stand trial, which will see the performer take the stand. 
The trial date has not yet been announced, but is expected to be in the coming months. The 45-year-old Colombian singer shares son Sasha, seven in Milan, nine with Spanish football player Gerard Piqui, from whom she recently split after accusations he cheated. Now, Shakira is accused of defrauding the Spanish Treasury out of a fortune over a three-year period from 2012 to 2014. Prosecutors want the maximum sentence over six separate counts of tax fraud. Oh, my God. Y'all going to put Shakira in jail? Come on. Y'all can't put Shakira in, in, in prison. Them hips don't lie. She ain't lying. Unfortunately, the Spanish tax office, which loses one out of every two lawsuits with its taxpayers, continues to violate her rights and pursue yet another baseless case. Shakira is confident that her innocence will be proven by the end of the judicial process. As well as an eight-year prison sentence, state prosecutors want the mom of two to be fined $19 million. I mean, come on. She has already paid an estimated $2.5 million to the Spanish taxman. So Shakira, previously living in the Bahamas, registered a full tax resident in Spain in 2015. So it looks like they're just trying to get money out of Shakira because they know she got it. Hopefully, at the end of this whole process, she'll be fine. I, I can't see her being sent to prison for eight years. That'd be crazy. Now, moving on to Doja Cat. <laughs> and uh, take a look at Doja Cat dancing. Oh, man, Doja Cat could definitely dance. Moving on to Doja Cat. And these are the words of the internet, not mine. <laughs> Doja Cat becomes, joins Rihanna as the only black female artist... <laughs> With three uh, number one hits on the Billboard Pop Airplane chart in the same year. <laughs> I'm laughing because it seems like they just come up with, with records for those that cat the break and accolades. The Billboard Pop Airplane charts? Like, Joy Driana as the only black, the, as the only black female. <laughs> Shout out. Shout out to Doja Cat for that accomplishment. <laughs> Moving on. And I hate the only way that we're talking about some of the fellas in entertainment is, you know, having to do with the law on the other side of the law. Rest in peace to PNB Rock. Um, today, there was arrested, uh, someone was arrested, 17-year-old arrested for the murder of P&B Rock, and his dad is wanted by the cops. Now, this is from TMZ. It was updated at 8.18 8, a.m. Law enforcement sources say the 17-year-old son of Freddie Trone has been arrested in connection to the shooting. We're told that the son was the shooter. And Freddie Trone drove the getaway car. So the son has now been arrested. He's 17 years old. The father got the hell out of Dodge. Even though he committed the crime with the son, he has now left the son to fend for himself. Our sources also say the father and son duel were already in the restaurant parking lot when PMB arrived, seemingly removing the possibility that PMB was targeted from a social media post from his girlfriend showing they were eating at Roscoe's. We're told after the murder, the suspect burned the getaway vehicle. Now, LAPD is naming a suspect in the murder of PNB Rock. He's still on the loose and should be considered armed and dangerous. Cops announced Wednesday morning, Freddie Lee Trone is the guy detectives have Fingered as a person involved in September 12th slaying of the rapper as he sat in Roscoe's Chicken and Waffles. This is what I mean about Gen Z's and their parents. He, it looks like he's a millennial parent. The Gen Z son, he's out there committing crimes, 
with his Gen Z son. Unbelievable. It says here, they've released a photo of Trone, but haven't yet said if he's the only person they're seeking in the case. You recall police said there was a getaway car waiting outside the L.A. restaurant after P&B was shot and killed. The killer fled with several gold and diamond chains. The Philly MC was wearing as he ate lunch with his girlfriend. Police are urging anyone to contact 911 if they see Trone or, or know about his whereabouts. And remember, he is considered armed and dangerous. Now, with this being said, uh huh, are we going to apologize to PMB's girlfriend, PMB Rock's girlfriend? Because it's stated here that those two were already in the parking lot. And I guess happened to see him going in there and maybe the, the son recognized them. Or were they, I mean, they were sitting in the parking lot for a reason. They weren't sitting in the parking lot and then just saw him and say, hey, we're going to, you know, do something. He probably noticed them like, oh, that's that rapper. He got money. And went and killed the man in cold blood. And now they're trying to find the pops. So, uh, I'm glad that they have arrested his killer. And then once they find his father, they can both be brought to justice. Once again, uh, oh man, this is tough. Once again, a shout out and prayers up to PNB's family. And to his girlfriend as well. I believe her name was Angela, not sure. But, um... I think we owe her an apology. You know, not me, because I didn't accuse her of doing it. But the world owes her an apology. I still say, you know, I agree that no one should post their location. Um, but everyone was blaming her for the reason why he got sorted out. And that just, according to police, that just wasn't the case. It's your boy Heaven Hollywood for the IE Network. Please like, comment, subscribe, share the video with your friend, hit that notification bell, please. I'll catch you on the next one.